2.5, solving equations using addition or subtraction. Okay? There are terms called inverse operations. You're going to have to get familiar with that terminology. Okay. You have to get familiar with what an inverse operation is. Inverse operations are very simple. Okay. There are two operations that undo each other, such as addition and subtraction. What else undoes each other? Multiplication. Yes, multiplication and division. Okay. Like two plus negative and positive. Wait, so like one plus two, and then like three minus. Yes, yes. So, so when they undo each other, it is considered an inverse operation, okay? That's the basic thing. Inverse operations are going to happen the rest of your time through algebra. Algebra Does 1, mean, algebra 2, everything. What? Does inverse mean opposite? It basically, it is kind of like the opposite, yes. Okay? Then you have equivalent equations, which I know we talked about before. What's equivalent equations? Uh, they have the same solution. Yeah, they, like, they have the same outcome. They have the same outcome, okay? And so the equations can look different from the beginning, but if they have the same outcome, they are the equivalent. Same. Yeah. Okay? Then there are two properties we're going to take a look at. One's called the subtraction property of equality. Okay. Subtracting the same number from each side of an equation produces an equivalent equation. Boom. If I subtract the same thing from each side, subtract 3 from over here and 3 from over here, and they were set equal to each other in the first place, 24 equals 24, and I subtract 3 from both, I get an equivalent answer. 21 will still equal 21. Okay. So when you subtract the same number from each side of an equation, stop it produces an equivalent equation. The addition property of equality is just the opposite of that. Okay, Adding the same number to each side of an equation produces an equivalent equation. This is common sense stuff that you do all the time when you solve equations. In 2.4, you did it all the time there. You were creating equivalent equations by subtracting and adding things to different sides. Okay, So then you get problems that say solve this. Okay, so let's tell me if you know how to solve this. Let's start with, how would I solve no. x plus 9 equals negative 3? Negative 3 minus 9. So you would subtract 9? Yeah. Okay, well, you guys said it both this was my just in different ways. Equation. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. So which... Property of equality did I use? Addition or subtraction? Subtraction. subtraction. So x would equal negative. No, no, three, three, no. Oh, no. no. That's negative, 12. Negative, negative 12. Negative 12. Okay? You got to think about your signs. x would equal <laughs> negative 12. Okay? I can check my answer by doing what? Doing inverse operation. By doing an inverse operation. Okay? But how? Yay. But how? What am I, I going to do? Let's well, let's I'm going to take answer. negative 12 and I'm going to do what with it? Add. Plug it into this original equation. So that says negative 12 plus 9 equals what? Negative. Does negative 12 plus 9, what is negative 12 plus 9? Negative 8. <laughs> what is negative 12 plus 9? Negative 21. Negative 3. Stop. It's negative 3. Josh, I it need says to stop. it on the board. Well, uh, we are double checking to see if it's true. Yeah, yeah. So if it's a true statement, boom, okay, that's how I check my answer. So on your homework, if it says solve and then check your solution, you're plugging your solution back into the original equation and checking. Okay? Let's have every question like this. That would be so boring. They will get more challenging. We'll get like two variables in there eventually. Like it's just simple. Not today. Oh, well, all you just need to do is break it up. Okay. Try this one. Solve and check. Okay. And we're going to solve and then we're going to check it. 23 equals y minus 11. You need to uh, add 11 to. Okay. I want to get y by itself, so I'm going to add 11 to both sides. So which uh, property did I use? Addition property of equality. Quality. What is 23 plus 11? 23. 
three, Wait, four, three, three, four. four. I'm sorry. Oh, you guys, guys, my friends. Listen, see, yeah, it's not a race. Slow, just yeah. relax and do it right. Okay? That's going to be our key this year. We need to relax and do it right. So it equals 34. So if I want to check my answer, how am I going to do that? Inverse uh, operation. 11, 11 I'm going to say 23 equals um, 34 minus 11. What is 34 minus 11? 23. And you have to show it to me this way. I want you to show it to me that way. Wait, so. Because I am trying to prepare you for when it gets harder. What is what? 23 equals 23. It's to prove that it's correct. I meant like, what is it called? This is just called checking your solution. It's a, it's a quality. It is a equivalent equation. If that's what you're looking for. Okay? So I need that from you. Um, any questions? Okay. Here's what you are going to do next. So this is our, is this our homework? It's going to be your homework, but we're going to do a word problem, too, because we love those. Yes. No, we don't. Okay. Yes. You weigh a horse. Yes. Wow. Wait, horse. Using a method um, oh, described oh, like this. So this is how you rate, uh, weigh a horse. One method for weighing a horse is to put it in a trailer, okay, um, of a known weight and weigh the horse and the trailer together on a truck scale. Have you guys seen truck scales on the side of highways? You yeah. know, no. trucks, trucks yes. weigh in. It's a tr truck no. checkpoint. There's not too many. Okay. Not too they many. have to do that. Trucks have to do that because they have to make sure that they're not carrying too much in their load and different things, and it's all these regulations. But they weigh, weigh horses that way, too. They'll weigh the truck first, and then they put a horse in the trailer and weigh the trailer with the right. horse in it, and you do your little subtraction math, and you can figure out what's going on. Why can't they just measure that? Can a horse, does a horse have a scale it can stand on? Well, they should make like a big one, like a giant. Yeah, but horses aren't like, like humans scale. where we're just going to stand, right? Horses are kind of like a move or shift or whatever, so if they're just in the trailer, they're confined, and it makes it easier. Okay? So you weigh a horse using a horse trailer. The weight of your trailer alone is 2,150 pounds. 2,150 pounds equals the trailer weight, okay? Then it says, stop, and then it says, the combined weight of the horse and trailer is 3,375 pounds. 3,375 pounds equals the combined weight. Where do you upload your videos? YouTube. You should let it go through power Because I'm going to watch all. Um, the combined weight of the horse and trailer is 3,375 pounds. What is the weight of the horse? 1,225 pounds. You need to calculate the channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want someone besides Carter to tell me how I set up an equation. I've been answering very good. I've been very good. What, Jason? Uh huh. Okay, you're right, but what we're going to do is I want to set up an equation with a variable in it. So, what is my total? Ooh, I got it. 3,375. So, that's going to equal what? W. Okay, W, and then what? Should have said P. What? No, W equals weight. Plus 2,150. Okay, so it's going to eat weight, the weight of the horse, plus 2,150. So, when they have you doing word problems like this tonight, Jason is correct. I am going to use common sense and just subtract 2,150 from 3,375. But they're going to ask you to start creating equations so that you get into this mindset. So when you're creating an equation, it's always the total equals the parts added together. Okay? Well, added or subtracted, whatever. So if you have the total weight. Right. Okay. So when you are creating equations tonight, you're going to have to have two items to equal my whole. Okay. Now, from here, I can show my work and show that I know what I'm talking about. So the weight is 3,375 minus 2,150. So I get 5, I get 2, I get 2, and I get 1. So the weight of your horse 
is 1,225 pounds. It's a nice, hefty horse. You don't have to check on the word problems unless it tells you to check. Okay? This is what you're working on tonight. 